Hi lovelies, thank you for being here, welcome. Each month I do two readings for my mystic members. It's the Wheel of Fortune reading, which assists us with the guidance to best and most successfully traverse the energies of the current month at hand. And then the new moon reading, which assists us with the guidance and messages most beneficial for us around the time of the new moon. Early bird access is available to my mystic members who receive the new moon reading one week in advance each month. After that, the new moon reading is made available right here for everyone. This month, a lot of the information that I've been downloading in these readings is about dark goddess energy. The dark goddess has been speaking to me. And one of the messages that I have received is a very strong and very clear, direct message for many of us to return to the dark goddess at this time. Who is the dark goddess? Lilith, Hecate, Oya, Arishkigal, Santa Muerta, Our Lady of Death, and the list goes on and on. In these readings, I have also received specific guidance about how we can integrate dark goddess energy into our daily lives in a manageable and cohesive way. This is for those of us who are called to this energy. Much of the guidance that I've received revolves around embodiment. In other words, being present in our bodies, feeling the feelings there, feeling the sensations there, and working with our bodies in such a way that we're learning to move energy around inside our bodies. There is much that has a tendency to get trapped in our bodies. Old stagnant energy gets trapped in our bodies. This could be in our chakras. This could be in numerous areas of our bodies. Trauma gets trapped in our bodies. Pain gets trapped in our bodies. Old intense energies, old experiences, old emotions, old memories, these things can become stagnancies in our physical and energetic body, which then creates stagnancies in areas of our lives. One of the things that the dark goddess has been speaking to me about is becoming more attuned to our bodies and becoming more attuned to the way in which emotions and experiences present themselves in our bodies, as well as becoming more aware of our emotional body. That is how emotions show up in our physical body. In addition to becoming more adept at moving energy through our bodies in a skillful way, this entails the recognition that our bodies are a channel. We are a channel. Our physical selves are a channel for energy for spiritual energy, and we are able to consciously direct this energy through our bodies. The other important piece of guidance that I have received is surrounding nature, the idea of nature and our relationship to nature. What the dark goddess wants us to recognize is that we are nature. We are not separate from nature. We are animals, <laughs> we are mammals, we are nature. We need to find ways to once again view ourselves as nature, as part of nature. In addition to viewing ourselves and recognizing ourselves as part of nature, it is essential to connect to the natural world in some way in order to develop this healthier relationship with our bodies and with our energy and our emotional energy that flows through our bodies. With these things in mind, here are three ways to connect to the dark goddess in this context. Number one, clear and cleanse your root chakra. Your root chakra is connected to your sexuality, your sensuality, and is connected to your basic needs of love and security, and it's connected to earth energy. In this context, we're talking about earth energy as in the element earth. Clear and cleanse your root chakra by envisioning vibrant red glowing light flowing through your chakra and feeling that light cleansing, clearing, and revitalizing you. You can get more specific with these intentions, going into specific areas such as realigning with your sensuality, 
healing your reproductive system, connecting to nature or the natural world in specific ways, or creating a strong sense of stability and security within yourself. Number two, spend time in nature. Really spend time in nature. This means pay attention. Pay attention to the trees or pay attention to the animals. Pay attention to yourself. Pay attention to your mental states and find some ways to directly connect and directly tune into the natural world. You can take this in bite-sized chunks, connecting with individual plants, even growing potted plants in your apartment, connecting with individual animals, even adopting a pet that's in need of a home, or getting much more specific, such as learning to energetically or psychically commune with trees, taking up a practice of stargazing, or learning astronomy or astrology, or cultivating such practices as reading nature oracles, a common and easy nature oracle is the practice of reading the shapes in the clouds. Another common use of nature divination is water scrying, gazing into a lake or pool of water for divination or spiritual guidance. Number three, take up a practice that allows you to move your body differently and at the same time to become more aware of how energy flows through your body and how you are affected emotionally by that energy. This can be something passive that you seek assistance with, such as physical therapy or massage therapy or acupuncture. And it can be something much more active, such as belly dancing, yoga, long walks, swimming, or simply stretching and paying attention to the tension in your body as you do so. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to click and subscribe. Don't forget to click thumbs up. Don't forget to like the video. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Share this video with your friends if you find it helpful. And I hope you find inspiration for how to do the work of the Dark Goddess, which encompasses our connection to nature and our holistic embodiment. Be blessed and be well.